Welcome! Let's dive into the world of NAT gateways and their critical role in AWS Virtual Private Cloud, or AWS VPC. To begin with, what exactly is a NAT gateway? Simply put, it's a service that handles network address translation, or NAT. It allows instances in private subnets to connect to external services, like downloading updates or patches. The best part? These external services can't initiate connections back to your private resources, ensuring security. There are two types, public and private NAT gateways. Let's explore these in detail. First up, we have the public NAT gateway. This is the default type and is used to enable private subnet instances to access the internet. Here's how it works. The NAT gateway is created in a public subnet and is associated with an elastic IP. Any traffic from private subnets flows through the internet gateway via this NAT gateway. It's not just about the internet. It can also connect your private subnets to other VPCs or on-premises networks. Now, let's talk about the private NAT gateway. Unlike its public counterpart, this type isn't meant for internet access. Instead, it's designed for connecting private subnet instances to other VPCs or on-premises networks. Since there's no elastic IP involved, all internet-bound traffic is dropped. Instead, it routes through a transit gateway or a virtual private gateway for secure and efficient connectivity. Setting up a NAT gateway is straightforward. Here's how you do it. First, create a NAT gateway in a public subnet and associate it with an elastic IP. Next, ensure the public subnet has a route to the internet gateway. Finally, update the route table of your private subnet to forward all internet traffic, CIDR block with all zeros, to the NAT gateway. Easy, right? Why would you use a NAT gateway? Well, it's perfect for scenarios where private resources need internet access. Think about downloading software patches or updates. The NAT gateway ensures secure, outbound-only connectivity. The best part? Internet services can't initiate connections to your private instances, maintaining a one-way traffic flow. Now you might wonder, how does a NAT gateway differ from an internet gateway? While both enable internet access, their roles are distinct. The internet gateway is for public subnets, handling public-facing resources like websites. On the other hand, the NAT gateway is all about private subnets. Outbound traffic flows through the NAT gateway and then the internet gateway. Think of it as a secure, structured connection path. Lastly, let's wrap up with the key features of a NAT gateway. It's associated with a specific availability zone and uses an elastic IP for public NAT gateway configurations. Performance-wise, it starts with 5 gigabits per second of bandwidth, but can scale up to 100 gigabits per second. Its main strength lies in secure, one-way traffic, ideal for private EC2 instances needing internet access. It's reliable, efficient, and a crucial part of any secure AWS setup. 